Some strike without warning. Others move at blinding speed. Or attack in ways you never thought possible. Each possesses a special tactic that makes it a prime predator. Hidden weapons and startling skills. So watch out as the secrets of snakes are revealed. In the world of strange and unusual serpents, this particular snake stands out. Head on, it looks more comical than deadly. And it has a name to match. The Eyelash Palm Pit Viper. But encountering one of these serpents is no laughing matter. They don't welcome intruders, and their defense is deadly. Hematoxins in their venom literally dissolve tissue and blood cells around the site of the wound. Deep in the victim's body, myotoxins kill muscle cells, stopping the heart or crippling the diaphragm to halt breathing. This is a snake to watch out for, if you can. It's so good at camouflage, it's practically elevated it to an art form. The eyelash palm pit viper gets its name from the upturned scales above its eyes. The distinctive feature may help in its ability to disguise itself. Dazzling colors allow it to blend in to fruit and flowers. And fruit and flowers attract prey. But the real secret to this viper's success is demonstrated at night. Most poisonous snakes strike their prey and then detach, letting the venom do its work as they wait at a safe distance. Not this one. It can't afford to drop its meal. So the viper holds on as the victim struggles and finally goes limp. For this snake, unflinching tenacity equals success. This is a snake with a secret. Oh, it may not look deadly as it slithers through the rice paddies of Asia, hunting for frogs and toads. It's small, stretching no more than 60 centimeters. But what the Yamakagashi lacks in size it makes up for in toxicity. Getting small, sharp fangs into the victim can sometimes be a challenge. But once it latches onto its struggling prey, death is inevitable. The frog doesn't stand a chance. An impressive kill, but nothing seemingly out of the ordinary. So what's the Yamakagashi's deep, dark secret? Well, this little snake isn't just making a meal out of its victim. It's also slurping up a hefty dose of frog poison on the side. And as it gulps its food, it somehow manages to separate out the frog's toxins and store them in glands on its neck. Now the Yamakagashi is armed and dangerous. Get too close, and it will present its glands as a target. Try to take a bite, and instead of getting a tasty morsel of snake, a predator ends up with a mouthful of poison. And when the gagging commences, the Yamakagashi makes its escape. But our next snake isn't so subtle. Fortunately, this massive serpent doesn't hunt humans. 
but don't go provoking it. The African rock python is perfectly capable of attacking and killing people, even adults. After all, this massive serpent can weigh up to 135 kilograms and grow to six meters, making it almost impossible to fight off. And it's pure muscle. Slow. This is one of the most feared serpents in Africa. It's huge. It's toxic. And it's incredibly fast. In a burst of speed, a black mamba can slither an astonishing five meters per second. That's faster than most people can run. But the mamba possesses an even more impressive skill, something that makes it a most successful hunter. This three and a half meter snake can lift half its body off the ground and leap into a tree. The mamba tastes the air as it deftly slithers skyward. Its target is perched in the topmost branches, where its parents likely thought it was safe. But it's not. The venom is potent, and death comes quickly. Most people look for snakes underfoot, so a serpent that strikes from the air is especially dangerous. Orchard workers need to look for more than just fruit when they root around leafy branches. Usually, a mamba will try to escape from humans. But in a tree, it may have nowhere to flee. Seemingly trapped, it's on the defense. Paralyzing toxins race through the bloodstream. The venom attacks the body's muscles, heart, lungs. And when the muscles stop working, the victim begins to asphyxiate. Death can come in just 20 minutes. The black mamba's bite used to be almost 100% fatal. Now, with anti-venom, hospitals can save most victims. But only if they get there in time. On the ground, or in the trees, this snake is small, agile, and deadly. Human fatalities are rare, but little creatures of the forest aren't so lucky. The white-lipped green pit viper is like a high-tech detection device engineered to hone in on prey. The forked tongue flicks molecules of scent into something called the Jacobson's organ on the roof of the mouth which alerts the brain that a potential meal is in the vicinity. The viper hangs motionless, ready to pounce. It monitors the approach of prey with yet another remarkable organ, pit-shaped membranes that detect body heat. Like the night vision scope of a military weapon, the pit viper's brain creates a thermal image pinpointing its target with precision. At the right moment, hinged fangs pop open like a switchblade, preparing for the strike. The mouse is dispatched with efficiency. Its attacker, clearly engineered to kill. Another snake also relies on stealth, but has
has its own special M.O. when stalking unsuspecting prey that's almost haunting. The common crate is rarely seen during the day. Like a serpentine vampire, it hides from the sun. Under the cover of dense vegetation, or entombed in abandoned animal burrows. But when the sun goes down, the common crate rises in the darkness and prowls for victims. Its dark skin helps it blend into the night. And also like a legendary vampire, the crate prefers to feast on its own kind. Other snakes. The fangs are small, but this hunter doesn't give up easily. It doesn't just bite its opponent, it chews, pumping a staggering dose of neurotoxic venom. Humans aren't safe either. It's night and it's cold. In rural India, people often sleep on the ground providing a chilled crate with a warm spot to nestle. But sharing a bed with a snake can lead to disaster. The bite is usually painless, the victim often unaware that he's received a potentially fatal blow. Tiny molecules of toxins are absorbed into the bloodstream faster than other poisons, shutting down the body's nervous and respiratory systems within a matter of hours. Even with treatment, the chances of survival only about 50-50. It's not uncommon for people, especially children, to die in their sleep. Sleeping on raised beds may help, but not all snakes lurk only in the dark. In an area of the world renowned for its extremely lethal snakes, this one stands supreme. The deadliest of the deadly. There are roughly 50 different kinds of venomous snakes in Australia, yet 80% of all snake bites in the country are from this particular species. How does the Eastern Brown manage to be such a human menace? To begin with, it hunts during daylight hours, meaning it's active when humans are too. And the Eastern Brown isn't shy about coming inside and making itself at home. It's looking for mice and rats drawn to human food. But if this snake is startled by a homeowner, it can quickly coil into a distinctive S posture for maximum striking force. Its fangs are short, so it knows to open its mouth especially wide and strike fast. The lethal venom is a combination of neurotoxins and anticoagulants. This one-two punch kills with massive internal bleeding, as well as heart, lung, and kidney failure. Basically, it's a total body meltdown. But what really makes the Eastern Brown dangerous to humans is a unique feature, a feature that allows it to get inside our dwellings, even if the doors and windows are shut tight. A flexible head. It can squeeze through the tightest spots in search of rodents. A small hole or gap is all it needs. With a head that can collapse to fit through seemingly impossible openings, this is one deadly snake that's hard to keep out. Snakes, it seems, can be found just about anywhere. Deep swamps are filled with all sorts of unusual and potentially frightening creatures, including this. Some call them water moccasins, others cotton mouths. By whatever name, 
It's one of the most famous symbols of North American swampland. It can grow to the length of a man and be as thick as his arm. And when provoked, it can deliver a formidable bite, pumping potent venom that literally digests living tissue from the inside out. But the cottonmouth isn't known for its extraordinary offense. It's known for its defense. And it's how it got its name. When threatened, the milky white mouth snaps open to make the snake look intimidating. And it stays that way for a long time. Up to 20 minutes. That gives would-be opponents plenty of time to run in the opposite direction. The cottonmouth is known for a single distinguishing characteristic. While this snake comes fully loaded with an array of custom features, it's difficult to spot a boom slang. The color options make it easy to conceal. Females are brown, like the tree branches where they lurk, allowing them to blend into the background. Males are brighter colors of green, so they can stay hidden among leaves. These serpents are expert climbers. Their stomachs are lined with coarse-edged scales that enable them to get a grip and slither vertically as well as horizontally. And then there's this option. If threatened, the boom slang will inflate like a balloon, pumping air into its neck. It's a surefire sign to back off. But not everyone gets the message in time. The boom slang delivers a potent dose of hemotoxic venom that causes headaches and nausea. If left untreated, massive internal bleeding will lead to death. But the real secret to the boom slang's success is something else entirely. It's the eyes. They're almost human. Like us, the boom slang's eyes sit close to each other in the front of its head, so it can see in 3D. It considers all angles as it approaches its unsuspecting prey. Each sizable orb focuses on an object at a slightly different perspective, picking up layers of visual information. The brain processes the data calculating the distance between fang and target. A successful hunter with a bag of tricks and the vision to complete the kill. Some snakes don't need fancy tricks when they have brute strength. This one can be as long as a city bus with the weight of three grown men, big enough to make a meal out of a human. Ah! The green anaconda is the largest serpent on Earth. This monster-sized snake can virtually disappear in the muddy waters of South America. A forked tongue searches the air for the scent of prey. It waits in ambush, only its head visible above the water. The black caiman weighs more than most adult males. But it's crushed in a coil of death. A double row of razor-sharp teeth are designed to grip a struggling victim. The body squeeze can be like a 360 kilogram motorcycle pressing on the rib cage. Every time the prey exhales, the snake tightens its grip. Breathing quickly becomes impossible. 
Humans who enter the realm of the green anaconda had better be on guard. There's no confirmed case of an anaconda eating a human, but they appear to have tried a few times. So be warned, this isn't exactly a gentle giant. Snakes seem to be everywhere. You'd think the deep waters off Australia would be safe until you encounter this. A serpent that can swim like an eel and deliver a deadly bite that would put a shark to shame. The olive sea snake. Drop for drop, this is one of the most toxic serpents in the ocean. The venom in a single bite can kill an entire football team. Here's how. Neurotoxins disrupt nerve signals, while myotoxins destroy muscle tissue. It's a potent double whammy, resulting in respiratory paralysis and swift death. Fortunately, the olive sea snake spends little time at the surface, where it's more likely to tangle with humans. Instead, it holds its breath by closing the valves in its nostrils, allowing it to plunge to depths of 40 meters beneath the waves. A secret weapon makes the olive a most effective hunter. This seems like an ordinary tale, yet it's anything but. The surface is covered with light-sensitive nerve cells that can pick up reflections given off by fish scales. It's like having eyes on both ends of a two-meter-long body. With its extraordinary tail, the olive sea snake ferrets out fish hiding in the shelter of the coral maze. The tail comes in handy for other tasks as well. It can also be used as a paddle, propelling a streamlined serpent through the water faster than a human can swim. Best to steer clear of an olive. It doesn't normally bother with people. But remember, just one venomous drop can kill 20 men. Back on land, is a snake that doesn't hesitate to attack people when provoked. The western barred spitting cobra can grow to nearly two meters long and possesses a skill that's not immediately apparent. At first glance, this may appear to be a sizable yet typical cobra. It's an expert climber and blends seamlessly into the desert rocks of southern Africa. Like other cobras, when threatened, it expands its neck muscles to appear larger and more intimidating. But if that doesn't work, the Western Bard unleashes its special line of defense. Toxic spit. Venom rushes through the fangs and exits from two small holes at the front. The Cobra can launch a minor warning spray or it can pump a full stream of blinding venom and nail a target two and a half meters away. This surprise tactic has both accuracy and range. But there are snakes with even greater talents. In the deserts of Namibia, snakes come in many colors. It depends on the landscape. But the pattern of the western cobra is always striped, giving the serpent its nickname, the zebra snake. It has an unseen tactical advantage that many snakes possess and uses it with skill. A forked tongue that can detect scent. This chameleon may be well camouflaged, but it's not fooling the zebra. Flicking the air, the tongue captures scent molecules and carries them to a special receptor in the snake's mouth. The snake knows prey is nearby. It can almost taste it. The 
The chameleon tries to make a run for it. Bright yellow with stress. Cornered, it gulps air to appear as large as possible. But the snake is determined to finish the job. Venom spreads, killing cells one by one. The chameleon changes color one last time. It's no match against a snake that can smell prey with a flick of the tongue. This cobra's stripes are a warning signal to its danger. But not all snakes are obviously lethal. This little one, for instance, looks relatively harmless. It's barely half a meter long, and its alternating bands of black, yellow, and red make it easy to mistake for an innocuous species. When you're this small and unimposing, you need an effective defense mechanism. And the western coral has just the trick. When threatened, it buries itself underground. Only its tail remains visible, curled in a loop and emitting a popping sound. Strange, confusing, and deceptive. But if this unusual tactic doesn't work, the western coral ah! can get deadly. Be foolish enough to reach for the tail, and the snake's other end emerges, bearing needle-sharp fangs. It may feel no worse than a pinprick at first, but give it some time, and the consequences are severe. The coral injects only a thousandth of a teaspoon of neurotoxic venom, but that's all it takes to kill. In humans, Symptoms may not appear for the first 8 to 24 hours. It starts with slurred speech, blurred vision, difficulty swallowing. Without antivenin, the process could progress to muscular paralysis and cardiac failure. The western coral may be small, but it's deceptively deadly. And the tail trick is a talent seen nowhere else. By comparison, this snake may seem bulky and unremarkable, with a triangular head and a short, fat body. But don't be fooled. The Australian death adder lays half buried in ambush, waiting for prey. It's unbelievably patient. This snake can lie motionless for days, even weeks. It uses its brightly colored tail as a lure, when birds or lizards approach, the tail twitches. To the unsuspecting, it resembles a grub or a small worm. The victim moves closer to investigate. Then the seemingly sluggish strikes in a fraction of a second. While other snakes slither out of the way, the death adder sits tight and relies on its camouflage. The fangs rotate outward, ensuring the venom flows directly into the target. For this snake, a good meal is apparently worth the wait. Taipans have a different tactical maneuver. This snake has the most toxic venom of any terrestrial serpent on the planet. A drop the size of a pinhead can kill a thousand mice, which works out well, because mice are what taipans like to eat. Although content with small furry things, sometimes these deadly serpents find themselves in close proximity to humans. When startled, most snakes bite once and run, but not taipans. They stay put 
and strike over and over again. Some humans have been bitten as many as eight times in a single attack. The venom's blood clotting agents stop the body's blood flow in a matter of seconds, while neurotoxins immobilize the muscles. But it's by no means the only snake skilled in the art of attack. It's called the king, and it's easy to see why. This species of cobra is the longest venomous snake on the planet, stretching a whopping five and a half meters. That's longer than a minivan. And when threatened, it can rear up a third of its body and look an adult human in the eye. But the king's reputation isn't based on size alone. It's considered one of the smartest snakes around. To scare off adversaries, the king bears its fangs, much like a dog. If that doesn't work, it strikes. In truth, the king's venom isn't particularly potent. But this snake makes it up in sheer volume. It'll pump enough to fill a quarter of a shot glass. That's enough to take down a human in a few minutes, and an elephant in a few hours. So the king's special tactic could be described as overkill. Fortunately, this snake avoids people, causing fewer than five deaths a year. So no worries, unless you're a creature of the rainforest. This fierce predator eats just about anything. Birds, lizards, small mammals, even fellow snakes. In fact, snakes are its favorite food. Which is why the king has yet another name, Ophiophagus which literally translates to snake eater. A snake of many names and many talents. But sometimes the smallest snakes can be the toughest. This little viper hides among the leaf litter and hollow logs in the rainforests of Central America. When a mouse forages nearby, the serpent displays a special skill. The agility of a gymnast. It's called the jumping viper, and the jump is just the first surprise. Seizing its prey, the viper rocks the fangs in and out, slashing multiple wounds and pumping hemotoxic venom into each gash. Blood vessels are destroyed, followed by massive internal bleeding. Vital organs soon rupture. It takes some time, and the little snake waits for its prey to succumb. With the ability to propel itself half its body length in a single bound, the jumping viper's athletic skill is unusual in the realm of land snakes. While this serpent is more adept at underwater aerobics, it stalks, strikes, and swallows, just like its earthbound relatives. Being amphibious gives it an important tactical advantage. On land, the yellow belly sea snake is awkward and vulnerable, barely able to struggle across the beach. But once underwater, it's a deadly hunter, able to stay submerged up to 90 minutes at a time. It hides in drift lines, Great rafts of debris and seaweed formed by colliding currents. Surrounded by small fish, they're the perfect cover, luring in larger fry. 
This snake is built for ambush. Its flattened oar shaped tail is ready to propel it forward like a speedboat. When a plump fish strays too close, one swipe launches the yellow belly for the kill. Like its land based cousins, it injects a lethal dose of neurotoxic venom and holds on until the victim stops writhing. Then it swallows head first to avoid being injured by spiny fins. This iconic snake is built for defense. The infamous warning sign instantly identifies the Southern Pacific rattlesnake as one of the most dangerous in North America. If surprised, the rattler may strike, and the bite can be excruciatingly painful. The tissue around the wound dies, sometimes costing a limb, and in rare cases, costing a life. But the rattlesnake prefers to save its precious venom for the hunt, which is why it has its ingenious early warning system. The rattle can scare away potential threats before things get ugly. It's made of dead tissue. Each time the snake sheds its skin, it adds a new ring to the device, making it longer and louder. So loud that the decibel level is the equivalent of an alarm clock that can be heard 145 meters away. One rattler has an equally impressive tactic when it's on the offense. Dazzling speed. Only two points of the snake's body touch the hot sand at any given time. And it's said to reach speeds up to 12 kilometers an hour. So all snakes seem to have special features. But there's one lurking out there that has it all multi-talented, and especially deadly. It's one of the biggest, arguably the baddest. The reticulated python is a super snake. Let's start with its size. An adult male python can grow to 10 meters, the length of two full-size sedans, and can weigh as much as two grown men. Think about it. The length of two full-sized cars, the weight of two full-grown men, and it's basically a tube packed with 10,000 muscles. It slithers across much of South Asia in a region of humid rainforests and rivers. The reticulated or crossed pattern of its scales allows it to blend seamlessly into its surroundings. Despite its considerable bulk, this super snake will go to any lengths for a meal, even up a tree. Monkeys on the highest branches aren't safe. Neither are deer, no matter how swift. This hunter is on the prowl, and it has an arsenal of weapons at its disposal. The eyes feature cat-like pupils, that open wide so they can maximize available light, giving the python excellent night vision. Heat sensing pit organs on the face detect the heat generated by nearby prey, and chemical sensors on its tongue pick up odors in the air. It's like a high tech tank that can maneuver just about anywhere. Detecting prey is one thing. Killing it is another, and the reticulated python excels at both. A deadly one-two strike and coil. The snake's powerful jaws have over 80 sharp backward curving teeth that latch onto prey to prevent escape. It constricts with so much power, it stops the flow of blood and oxygen. Eventually, the victim suffocates. And then, the final trick. 
Like most snakes, the python swallows its meal in one long gulp. The lower jaw detaches from the upper, an ingenious design that allows the snake to spread its jaws wider than its skull. In short, it can eat a meal bigger than its head. The jaws march methodically up and over the prey, slowly pushing it inside. The skin is elastic, so it can stretch to seemingly impossible proportions. True, all snakes have their skills, but the python ranks among the most impressive, if not the most terrifying of them all. Fortunately, snakes are not our enemies. They attack humans only when provoked. <laughs> 